struggling a little bit on Black this year fishing inshore but this time I grabbed the snowmobile I pinned it about six miles out and we are on the mud flats no one's out here ice is sketchy I don't know actually I haven't even checked I haven't even drilled a hole yet but don't do that that was pretty dumb I just gripped it ripped it got out to one of the hot spots that I was fishing last year and hopefully just hopefully the fish are here I'm gonna drill a bunch of holes here quick Spread them out, get some up on the flat, get some on the edge, get some off the flat, get them all over, and then we'll put an iFish Pro out instantly because that's the first thing we need to do after drilling holes is get an iFish Pro out. 39 degrees out, little to no wind. It's like 10.30 in the morning. I'm here until dark. It's going to be an awesome day on Mille Lacs. Let's make something happen today. And hopefully we get some nice fish for you guys. You stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, folks at home, folks at home, here we go. I am all set up, got the holes drilled, some 24, 26, 28, 29, not going to go any deeper than that, but iFish Pro set 26 feet, do him right, put him right in the middle, you know, and uh, I'm going to start jigging, probably going to start with, uh, I think I'm going to start with a jig head and a fat head, I really like the jig head bite out here on Malax. if you guys haven't tried it, just a, just a, just a jig head, man, it's not, nothing fancy. I'm going to rig up. Get something to drink, I need my Mountain Dew. Wherever my Mountain Dew's at, I'll find you. And I'll drink you. But for now, let's get to jigging. And hopefully, the walleyes are here. And if not, we're out of here. Oh snap, there goes the iFish Pro. Oh snap, iFish Pro. Gonna get that, gonna get that. First I fish pro of the day, ladies and gentlemen. We've been at this spot for, what's the camera say? 14 minutes, that's not too bad. About six minutes from me leaving. So, hopefully, we start packing some alleys. Oh, she's really, she's really dogging. Oh, she's really dogging too. Get that beautiful eye fish pro out of the way there. Check the old drag. Seems, seems good, let's bury it. Okay, it seemed loose. Not, not huge, but definitely not tiny. Seems, seems pretty good. First fish of the day is a freaking good one. This is why I come to Malax, baby. Oh, it's, oh, oh, oh. It's, Bigger than I thought. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That is why. That is why I'm out here on the flats right there. That is a. That's a high 20s right there. I'd say 20, 26 ish. Not nothing crazy, crazy. Poor guy is skinny. You know, a lot of these walleyes, a lot of these big walleyes in here are skinny, but. We'll get him unhooked, slip him right back. Awesome. All right, got the hook out of that beauty. Let's send him home. It's nice that it's uh, super warm out today. It's almost 40 degrees. Not to worry about these fish freezing up. Get this big girl back. And there she goes, all nice and happy. She's happy, I'm happy, I mean, we're all just happy about it, so let's set her back up and get another one. There we go. First fish jigging on that uh, fat head and jig. Ooh, doesn't feel bad. There's another one actually down there waiting. This guy came in and just slapped it. 
Oh, dangling the doozy there, bud. Hey, 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 hey. That's not a bad fish at all. I'll take that. There is actually another one down there. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to fire this guy right back down there. And I'm going to drop down. See if his buddy wants to play. Ah, oh, isn't that a glorious sight, ladies and gentlemen. The yeah, iFish Pro. That fish is peeling. This ain't, this is, this, okay, I just gotta say. He's getting ridiculous. I'm gonna say this is not a walleye. And if it is, like, what are you doing, bud? I was thinking pike, but now I'm thinking it's a walleye. Maybe we'll hang out. We'll see what the fishing does here. I think we should maybe hang out a little bit. Try. It's a decent walleye. It's a good walleye. It's a good freaking walleye right there. Another dandy on the iFish Pro. I get more big fish on iFish Pros. Malax and iFish Pros are like uh, bread and butter, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna wanna do that. I'm gonna have to get this guy unhooked. Oh, nice, he's just barely hooked. Hook popped out. That's another uh, 24, another good fish. I think, I don't know. I was just talking to the camera a little bit ago, saying, I think we're gonna leave this spot and go try something new, but I think I lied. I think we're just gonna stay here. Let's just fish it. It's three fish in an hour or so, missed missed two or three. Let's stay here. Let's get the release. Glorious. Just about as good as it gets. That one pounded the spoon. That's what we're talking about. It's about time. I've been actually marking a decent amount of fish, but they've been playing hard to get. And that's a good one. That's a freaking good one right there. Yeah. He came in and absolutely crushed that spoon. That's what I'm talking about. All right, that's uh, that's that's a that's a good one. We're gonna we're gonna stay here. We ain't going anywhere. We ain't moving nowhere. We're here. We're here and we're doing it. Yeah, yeah. That one came up and I absolutely pulled it away from him, and he absolutely crushed it. He comes with a pack of ranch. We'll update for you. Just out here in the great old center of Mille Lacs Lake. Not a soul around. I haven't seen anyone around me, which I love. That's why I come to Mille Lacs Lake. Everybody doesn't want to fish here because they're like, oh, you can't keep fish. That's exactly why I want to fish here. Big fish, catch and release. The hunt is what I love. We're going in for lunch. It's like 1.15. Just caught another fish there on the iFish Pro. We've got a we've got a turkey burrito here. Gonna dabble some ranch on it and uh, probably just sit back and enjoy this sunny 40 degree day and eat this. Hope my iFish Pro goes up again before I'm done. On a one to ten scale. From the gas station, I'm gonna give this a seven. Yeah, I'd drop it down to like a like a six or a five if they didn't put ranch in there. But once they put the ranch in there with the sub, I was like, that's a seven. That's a high seven. I wish I had a cherry Pepsi. If anyone's in the Black Lake area, that's a cherry Pepsi. Get 
hold me. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Pounded it. Pounded the spoon. We've got good weight. Oh yeah, it's gonna. It's about 1:30. Fishing's gonna get greasy tonight. It's gonna get greasy. Oh yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh, I think so. That's a absolute dandy fish right there. Actually, didn't even feel that big. Tell you the truth. And that spoon is. Oh, my friend. Hang on. I'll get you this. There we go. Definitely uh, running into some quality on this flat right now. It's one reason I don't mind staying. I'm definitely not pulling the high numbers today, but the fish we're catching. Nice. I'll take this one back. Get him back. Get him back. See you later, my dude. You know, some people ask me. You catch all those fish. It's like when you're a fisherman, you know, all the dick sometimes is a good uh, twitch of the wrist, and those fish come right in, just just crush it. So keep that in mind. Keep the bait in the water, and uh, keep jigging. Fish crept up to it and absolutely just pounded it. And uh, I, I bowed, I bowed the rod to him. And he, he, he double taked it. So he should be good on that. Feels really big. It's definitely nice. That jig head is just pin thick fish. There we go. That is an absolute stud. Look at this jig head. Just pin right in the old schnoot. This is another mid 20s fish. I am super happy about the old uh, the quality of fish out here on the mud. And not only that, they're healthy. This thing is thick, plump. We'll uh, tuck him right back in. Hopefully, the evening just progresses on just like this. Should love the jig bite. One of my favorite bites. They come in, smash it, you just bow the tip to them, give them a little, when they knock it, you rack it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Oh, there we go. Oh. Big. Big. Yes. Come on, baby. Oh, gosh. This feels good. This feels good. This feels good. Yes, I'm talking. I don't know if I even got the camera on in time for this guy to come in. Came in and absolutely slapped. Just slapped that jig, boy. Oh, yes. Big in. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm talking about. This day has been absolutely fire. Big camera's dead at the moment. <laughs> I don't even care. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Gotcha. Ah, yes. And two fish on the screen at once. That was dandy. Yeah, smallest fish of the day. Hey, ain't hating. Ain't hating on you, bud. Just happy you came through for me. Came through and popped her for me. It's another well. Time. Good. A good. Another good fish here. Oh, 
Yeah, this is this is actually big. This is actually big. Yes. This is big. Oh yes. Andy, why? Ah. Ah yeah. <laughs> that jig head. Just keep her tuned. Keep her papping. And she'll lock them up for you. Can't get it out. There we go. Another dandy fish right there. I wanted to move, but I'm kind of glad I didn't now. We are catching. Not high numbers. I probably hit you know, 15 fish or something already, but the quality is there, guys. The quality is there. They're fat. They're healthy. Let's get them back. So we can get a little chilly out here, so. It won't keep you too long, girl. Just. Oh. Does it get any better? Yeah, I don't think it does. Switch the camera up. Ooh, does it look crispy? That is what I'm talking about. It's getting a little chilly out here. It's getting a little chilly out here. It's alright. A little scared. Well, I'll grab it and wrap it. Keep her tuned. As you always know, it's the main thing you want to do. You know, some people ask me, well, what's the best bait? I say, well, the bait that's in the water. <laughs> Keep it jigging. Keep her down there. I spend a lot of time switching baits, rifling through baits. Just keep, just keep the jig in the water. Boom, just hit it. Slack line, slack line, slack line, slack line. Give it to him. Give it to him, Give it to him Captain. That's what it's all about. A jig bite, y'all. Smaller ones today, but hey, I ain't complaining. Let me see, that fish hit it with just a minnow head on it. I think he took the minnow first time, then just came back and hit it with just a minnow head. Woo! We'll see you later, champ. Peace, dude. Well, what do we got here? Could it be? One of those whale eyes? Oh my gosh, did he freaking crushed it! Oh, 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 oh my! Oh, oh, oh! Just gonna lean on him. Just, ah, oh, just leaning on him. Good fish, guys. Okay, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh, just another freaking absolute dandy. I mean, oh, ouch, 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 ouch. Ah, yeah, they're uh. They're staying big, the bite's hot. I don't know what to do, my hands are numb. The sun is set, almost. The wallies are so freaking fired up and they're so freaking chunky and thick. <sighs> Get them back. Freaking beat down. I'm talking freaking meat down, beat down. As, uh, as someone I know likes to say, well, they're Acadia. It's a meat down, beat down, straight, absolutely smack down, crack down. It doesn't, it doesn't get any better. The walleyes are here. They're feeding. They're great sized. I mean, <laughs> just fired up. If you can't tell, I'm fired up over the Mille Lacs Lake mud flat bite. Um, probably my favorite time of year early ice one of your first three to four times getting out on the mud is usually the best of the season so you're gonna want to stay tuned the next couple episodes are probably gonna be crazy Good. There we go. that fish was uh just throwing with a little bit down there but he couldn't resist the old jig. The sun is setting. It's an absolute beautiful, beautiful night out here. And it has been an awesome, awesome day on the Lax Lake. So many quality fish on this flat right now. I mean, there's another good one right there. 
Another quality fish right there, guys. It's getting cold, the batteries are dying. I probably got another half hour or so of light, but I don't know, I think I'm gonna call it here. I'll probably keep the camera out for a little bit. If I catch something big, you'll hear about it, but Lax is doing good, guys. We got pretty good ice out here. I'm happy about it. Now that I can get my uh, snowmobile out here, I think it's, uh, it's go time. I'm gonna be out here a lot this winter catching beautiful walleyes like this. Let's tuck this girl back real quick. See you later there, pal. And uh, yeah, if you guys are coming out here, make sure you check a bunch of spots. Hit some walleyes in the face for me. Let me know how it goes. It's been pretty hot around here lately. Hot, hot bait of the day. I like that jig head, you know, right there. Just a, just a little jig head. Tipped with a fat head. It's been, it's been crushing them all day. But for now, I think I'm gonna jig up a couple more and we'll uh probably get out of here i'm talking the the sun is just going down it's absolutely beautiful and the walleyes are biting you can't ask for a much better day than that on Mille Lacs lake so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of martial outdoors make sure to hit that like button smash that subscribe button just like i've been smashing these walleyes just smash it for me and uh i'm sure i'll be right back out here next time on the next episode of martial outdoors you guys stay tuned. Peace! Oh my gosh. It's just it's freaking hot right now. I gotta leave. It's, it's too freaking hot. Oh.